Most of you know Slap Chop by now, but today on the Hobby Grotto, I want to show you how this speed panning technique works with metallics, and the Alpha Legion are going to be the perfect test subject. Now with the slap chop technique, you're applying a zenithal prime over the model with grey and white dry brushing or airbrushing, and then adding contrast paint or inks over the top of that for some instant depth and highlights. So for metallics, we're replicating that zenithal with silvers instead of grey and white. I'm using a darker silver like Iron Warriors here, and then coming back over with a bright silver like Runefang Steel, but any metallic silvers would work here, you just need a dark and light one. Unlike the first dry brush of Iron Warriors, which I was applying everywhere, I'm concentrating the lighter silver much more on the raised areas and focal points of the mini. This will help shine through the incoming contrast paints and give us that nice metallic look. You could also spray this silver and apply the contrast paints, but I think the dry brushed effect works better for metallics and helps us build more shading and highlights. Achelian Green Contrast Paint. I think I pronounced that right. Anyway, we're getting our slap chop on here. Might as well start with the most prominent color on the mini. I'm using this pretty much straight out of the pot, but it's good to test this first when using contrast paint and work out just how transparent you want it with medium because they all have different levels of color saturation. If you want it more transparent, it's easy enough to add some medium, which is basically just clear paint. You also want to be putting this on in one motion so it settles properly. Don't be going back and adjusting as it's drying, it will ruin the effect. Just get a nice amount on your brush and apply it evenly. And I'm being careful here not to get any on the non-green parts, but we can tidy that up later if necessary. The key to this technique is speed. You're sacrificing a bit on quality to get your stuff table ready faster, so you have to get perfectionism out of your mind when you're doing something like this, and just get it done in an efficient manner. Remember, this technique builds a base for the mini, which you can always expand upon later if you wish. I'm really liking this blue-green for Alpha Legion, but interestingly enough, as a Legion, they have the most variety of color schemes. It's honestly hard to choose. There were some with almost a, a dark royal blue and others with a, more of a light green. Kind of goes nicely with their lore, I think, that the color scheme is a bit undecided. But I wanted to keep this fast, so I'm not messing with the Achillean Green too much. It's really more of a blue, I think. But Achillean Green it is. Let me know in the comments if you think it's green or blue. With the main colour done there, I think the Mini is already looking pretty good for something so fast. And it's also quite fun to paint this way as a nice change from more traditional acrylics with the way the paint just kind of runs over the model and you're kind of just colouring it in. It's, uh, it's actually very cool. I'm quickly coming through with some Iron Breaker and tidying up any mistakes for the next colors. And the reason I'm using Iron Breaker is because it's a good midpoint between the other silvers I've used, so it will blend together better. You just want to be careful here because splashing silver onto any of our green parts is going to be really annoying to fix. This is certainly one of the downsides to Slap Chop or just using, you know, contrast paints as a whole, not being able to easily fix mistakes uh, once you've got contrast down. But honestly, you probably don't even need to do this step, but it's just a nice touch if you have the time. Now for some details. Firstly, the belts and pouches. This is pure wildwood to keep it nice and dark. Uh, if there's a bit of a metallic glimmer, I don't think it's a big deal. We can always come back and add some manual highlights to cover it up should this be bothering us later. But in the meantime, this is a very fast way to get all these kinds of little details sorted. And I think it looks perfectly fine for some uh, areas of the model that are certainly not a focal point uh, in any way. To break up some more of the silver, I'm using Black Templar for the areas I would traditionally paint non-metallic black. And like the Wildwood, I'm using this pure to keep it as dark as possible. Don't worry about losing highlights to create more contrast like this. Dark bold colors are really important on minis and we can add highlights with the brush later to add some depth as I mentioned in the previous step, but it's honestly very rarely necessary with these parts of the model. They're not focal points and your eye's not really drawn to them to notice this lack of highlights. And don't forget, if you're enjoying this video, to like and subscribe. That stuff really helps the Hobby Grotto get out there, so thank you. You could easily paint a loincloth like this with traditional acrylic paints to give some contrast between all the metallic, 
but I'm going to apply a glaze of warp lightning here instead, just to keep with this overall metallic slap chop speed paint I'm doing. I might change it later, of course, but for now, I'm imagining it as kind of a, a space snake cloth type thing. Perfect for Alpha Legion. This contrast paint has been mixed with medium to get it more transparent, of course, and I've applied it in a few layers. I'm also adding some known oil to any bits that are going to remain silver, like the trim and weapons, to give them a bit more depth like everything else. This is one of those steps that uh, you could skip, of course, if you're in a real hurry, but I do like the subtle effect it adds to those areas, and also it wouldn't feel quite right making a Hobby Grotto tutorial without some known oil in there, of course. With all the colours slap chopped in, I'm now adding some quick Rune Fang steel highlights to anywhere I see fit. These are going to work best on focal points, but you can really highlight as much as you want in this stage. It's all going to come down to how much of a speed paint you're doing. Getting all your minis to this stage for the tabletop and then coming back at your leisure to add even more finicky highlights is a perfectly viable strategy. And once you start playing with them, you may even think to yourself, I don't really need those highlights anyway. The goal of this whole technique is of course to get things out fast. And while I used an Alpha Legion color scheme in this video, there are loads of cool metallic color schemes out there you could try with this. I'm looking at you, Celestial Lions. Finally, I'm bringing out a non-contrast paint here for the eyes, Moot Green, to make them a bit more punchy. And then I'm giving them a little highlight with a white and green mix. This will just help them stand out a bit more from all these metallics. Overall, I was very happy with how this came out for such a fast paint scheme. It took probably less than 25% of the time it would take me to paint a mini traditionally, so this is definitely a technique you should look at if you want to paint those minis fast. Thanks for watching, of course. Why don't you check out some of these other videos here, and we'll see you next time on the Hobby Grotto.